the most of all the stress I try to live without regrets But I'm about to break a sweat I'm freaking out Hey everyone, welcome back to Muskoka Woods TV. Today we're jumping right into our awesome interview with Muskoka Woods sponsored vert skater, Mitchie Brusco. Mitchie has been coming to Muskoka Woods since he was four years old and this summer competed in, in the Dude Tour Pro Vert Finals in Las Vegas. I had a great time this past summer week one talking with Mitchie. So let's check out our interview and some of Mitchie skating. Hey Muskoka Woods, Julie here from Muskoka Woods TV, coming at you right here from Muskoka Woods on beautiful Lake Rosso in Muskoka, Ontario. If you want to know the latest skater and action sports to watch is, then we've got the perfect thing for you. We're chilling with Mitchie Brusco. So, hey Mitchie. Hey Miss Coco Woods. So, how long have you been skateboarding? Where did you get your start? I've been skating for 10 years now. And I started with me and my mom. We just walked into this mall and she saw this $10 Tasmanian Devil skateboard and got it and I wouldn't get off of it. When did you start coming to Muskoka Woods? Um, I started coming to Muskoka Woods when I was six years old. What do you love about Muskoka Woods? I love Muskoka Woods because it's just, there's so much stuff to do, you never get bored. So, you've had some pretty crazy experiences skateboarding. What would you say is your favorite? Probably skating Bob Burnquist Mega Ramp. So, what's a Mega Ramp? A Mega Ramp, it's 90 <laughs> feet tall, the roll-in, and then it has a 50 foot long gap. It has a 30 foot tall corridor pipe. So, in other words, it's like really huge? Yeah. <laughs> That sounds really crazy. Who have you skated with in your life that just blew your mind? Uh, probably Tony Hawk. What do you want everyone watching Muskoka Woods TV? What would you tell them if they wanted to set a goal for themselves to keep going? Just to uh, not give up and keep working at it and everybody starts somewhere. So even if you're not very good, you can get good. So you can do anything when you put your mind to it? Yeah. Can you teach me a trick on a skateboard? Sure, come up to B3. Sounds good. I'm chilling up at B3 right now with our own very amazing Mitchy Brusco. So he's going to teach me how to do a skateboard trick. So here we go. <laughs> That's so crazy. Okay, so what am I going to be learning? Well, today you're going to learn a tic tac. Tic tac. So, what's a tic tac? Tic-tac is, what do you have here? Foot on, your back foot on your tail. You just move the front back and forth. Okay, cool. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, there we go. See if you can get 
get more and more. How do you move forward? <laughs> okay. I'll just leave that to Mitch there. He's tic tac in. So, you heard it here first. Thanks to Mitchie, thanks for all of you Muskoka Woods fans for watching. If you want to hear more interviews with amazing people like Mitchie Brusco, keep locked to Muskoka Woods TV. So, we're signing out now. Bye, Bye Muskoka, Muskoka Woods! Woods. Wow, Mitch is a pretty awesome skater, and I will definitely be seeing him in a video game soon. But Julie, first can we just talk about your sweet skate moves? Let's not. <laughs> Those are some sick Tic Tacs. Oh, thank you. Okay, girls, I gotta go. Wait, got a hot date with Demi or something? No, I gotta do some interviews. All right, see you guys later. All right. Bye, PJ. See you guys later. <laughs> Bye, PJ. So now that PJ's gone, let's get down to business. We know from episode one that things didn't quite work out between Demi and PJ, so we thought we'd give him a hand and run our very own version of the dating game called Pick a Pal for PJ. So here's how it's going to work. If you are a girl between ages 13 to 15, single, live in the GTA, and are ready to mingle with my boy PJ, then send us your photo and your deets. You can also check out the Send Us Your Stuff page on the Muskoka Woods TV website. We'll select the top three girls that we think are the best suited to come into the studio to play Pick a Pal for BJ. Apply now. Apply now. We're waiting. Before we go, we are going to play some Would You Rather. So thanks, guys, for sending us all your wonderful Would You Rathers. Um, today we have one from our friend Brian. Uh, Julie, would you rather lick two blocks of a Toronto city street or suck the snot from a dog's nose? I'm kind of thinking city streets because I can just wash off my tongue before I put it back into my mouth. After you lick the street? Yeah. Filled with gum, gas, probably human snot. But then I wouldn't get it into my system. Yeah, but who says you can't spit out the snot that you snuck from the dog's nose? True. That is true. So maybe dog snot. I'm going with dog snot. Dog snot. I don't want any other person's gum or <laughs> gas from someone's car in my mouth. All right, so keep sending us in your suggestions. We hope you had fun. So stay locked on Muskoka Woods TV. Catch you later. Bye. Go, go, what?